name is Latoya. And I'm Julius. And we own a personal training company, One Body LA, here in Los Angeles. Yes, so we're going to take you guys through a full body, body weight workout. All you need is your body and maybe like a, like a soft surface. Like a mat we, or a like towel. A, like a yoga mat or something because we will be on the floor. Um, thank you guys for joining us and also thank you to Lupus LA for having us on to take you guys through yes. a nice easy workout and hopefully by the end of this you feel nice and loose and strong and ready to go. Yeah, great way to kick off your weekend. Exactly. All right, so we're going to start with a quick warm up just to get you loosened up mm -hmm. and open up the muscles, open up the joints a little bit. Exactly. So we're going to start in a kneeling position on our mat. So if your knees are a little sensitive, uh, like mine are, feel free to roll that up just a little um, so you have a little bit more support and cushion underneath your knees. Yes. So what we're going to do is basically stretch kind of the main areas that tend to be tight. So it's usually the hip flexors and the hamstrings. So we're going to start with the hip flexors. So first, you're going to get in the half kneel and we're going to extend our hips forward. Okay, so slightly forward, we're going to make this a little dynamic. And each and every time that you go into it, try to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Yeah. So I'll do this on the side so you can kind of see as well. All right. Okay, so we'll do this about five more times and then we'll switch to the other side. So if you've got your left foot forward, you want to make sure to keep that left hip pulled back, right hip pushed forward. So you get a nice stretch. You might even feel a little bit of quad in there as well. All right, guys, we'll switch to the other side. Okay, again, try to really extend those hips forward. You want your hip flexors to be nice and loose before we go into this workout. All right, do maybe three or four more. Really try to reach and extend. If your hip flexors are tight, really try to maybe hold it at the end for a second, just like that. Perfect. And we're going to switch legs just to give that knee a little bit of a break and we're going to go into big arm circles. So if your knees are getting a little sensitive, feel free to do this standing as well. Right. So we're going to start doing big arm circles going back first. Okay. Really try to open up those hands as you go back. Okay. You should feel shoulders loosening up. You feel any popping or cracking as long <laughs> as it's not pain. It's okay, it's totally normal. Waking things up this morning. Exactly. Okay, we'll do about three more of those. And one more. All right, and now same thing going forward. We're gonna try to reach and extend, open up those palms. Shake it out a bit. Now we're going to stand. Okay, we'll roll your mat back out. Okay, here's where we're going to get into the hamstring. So with the hamstring, we're going to do a hamstring touch to an extension. Okay, we don't want you to fully lock out those knees. Just kind of have a nice, comfortable, soft lock in your yep. knees. We're going to extend to the ground. Try to reach as low as you can. And then we're going to extend the spine try to reach up as far as you can. So you want to really try to lengthen your spine as you go up. Okay, so sit, try to reach, and extend. Good, and as you go down and sit back, really try to shift your hips back as far as you can to get a nice deep hamstring stretch. Just like that. Really try to lengthen your spine as you come up. Okay, if you have pretty tight hamstrings, this is a great stretch. You kind of want to do this pretty often from day to day. So. Okay, maybe one more. All right. All right. Good. All right, so Perfect. hopefully you're a little loose now and ready to get into the workout. So we're going to take you guys through six different exercises, three supersets <coughs> for you. So we're going to start with a squat and a push-up, okay? And we're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds, and then we'll make sure to give you a 30-second rest in between each one. Exactly. So we want you to go at your own pace. We realize everybody's fitness level is a little bit different. So if you need a little bit more rest, you know, feel free to take that. 
and go at your own pace. So you may want to go fast or you can go, you can pace yourself and go nice and slow. Yes, okay? and we're definitely going to show modifications to each exercise too. So Julius will be doing a little bit more of a progressed version and then I'll be doing a little more of a modification of each exercise that we're going to do. Exactly. So we're going to do a superset, two exercises, we're going to do a squat and then the second exercise we're going to do a push-up, okay, for 30 seconds each. Right. So we're going to start the timer. Okay, I'm going to do a squat. You want to have your feet about hip width apart, okay? And you want to try to sit as low as you can while keeping those heels on the ground, okay? Also, one thing that'll help you sit back more, as a counterbalance, have your hands in front, and you can sit back more in that squat, okay? All right, and then if you're not comfortable yet sitting back without a little bit of support, feel free to grab a chair or something of similar height like an ottoman. And same thing, sitting back into the heels, but you can use that chair ottoman as support to help you come back up. Still using your arms as a counterbalance, but you have a little bit of support going down. Exactly. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready to start. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. So get your clocks ready, we're gonna do 30 seconds, and then we'll take right. a 30 second break in between, okay? And if you have any questions, we'll try to answer those as we go in the comments there. So. Okay, let's Ready? get started in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Good. We're going to try to sit back on your heels. Again, go at your own pace. If you feel good, like you want to go a little bit faster, feel free to do so too. Good. You're already halfway. Ten more seconds. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, and relax. All right. Perfect. Good job, guys. So now we're going to move to a push-up. So we're going to start with these on the ground, going down. If a push-up is a little bit too difficult for you, feel free to drop to your knees. Same thing. And if you did grab a chair or an ottoman, you can also elevate the push-up. So you can be up. Shoulders are still above the wrists. Elevated. She's good. She's good. <laughs> All right, so same thing here. We're going to go for 30 seconds. I'm going to do them elevated for you, and then he'll do them on the ground. Exactly. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, and 30 seconds. Okay, be sure to keep your core engaged. Try not to let your hips sink on the push-ups. Really squeeze your glutes. And if you're elevated, try to keep your shoulders right above your wrists. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Stay strong. In five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job. All right, we're nice. sweating with you guys. Nice, so if you need a break, Go grab some water, if you need a towel, anything. If you're sweating already, go grab a towel, and then we'll be back in 30 seconds to do the next set. So we'll do three total sets for every exercise. All right. Let's see if we got some questions in the comments. Let's see. Yeah. All right, we'll take about another 30 seconds of rest, grab some water, and we're gonna go right back to the squat. So try to challenge yourself. If you did 10 squats the first time, try to add a couple more mm -hmm. on the second set. Should be pretty warmed up now too. Exactly. All right. So also too, these are also great exercises that will help loosen your joints. If you have tight hip flexors, tight hamstrings, this is a great exercise. Squat the great exercises for just loosening everything. Up. All right. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You want to keep your chest nice and tall in the squat. You don't want to hunch over like this. Okay? All right, 15 seconds, halfway.
push-ups, try to do them nice and controlled. Okay, you don't have to feel like you need to do them fast, okay? Slow sometimes, it's great for better muscle engagement. All right, already only 10 seconds left. Take about a minute here, so grab some water. One more set. We'll do one Last more set. one, then we're moving on. Good job. Yeah, five, two. And if you guys have any questions for us, you can drop them in the comments. And we'll, if we can't answer them now, we'll be sure to answer them afterwards. So. Okay. Take about 30 more seconds of rest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a good answer. Yeah. Good <laughs> All right, so this will be our last set of squats and push-ups, and then we're going to move on to the next set of exercises. All right, guys, this is the last set, so try to challenge yourself here. If you did maybe 10 to 12 reps on the first two, maybe challenge yourself to do, you know, maybe 15 this time. All right, All right. in five, four, three, two, one. Sitting back into the heels. If you're feeling any knee pain with the squats, try to sit back into the heels just a little bit more to keep those knees behind your toes. Also, you can widen your base too as well. That'll take a lot of pressure off the knees. All right, five more seconds. Five, three, two, one. Good job. All right, last set of push ups. Take a 30 second rest. Exactly. Good job, guys. Y'all are doing good. I can feel it. <laughs> I can't see you, but I can feel it. Yes. Great energy. 15 good more seconds. Good job. I guess I'll get ready. Okay, last set of push ups. Get as many reps as you can here in five, four, three, two, one. All right, last set, guys. Try to be strong here. Keep your core tight. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that back nice and flat. Good. Really pulling your belly button. That'll help you keep that core engaged. Good. You're over halfway. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay. In five, four, three, two, and relax. All right. So we're going to give you a minute break here. Job, All right, already done with the first set. Good. Good job. All right. So grab some water. All right, guys, we're going to go into the next group of exercises. Again, we're going to do a set of two. First, we're going to go into an alternating lunge. Okay, so if you're able to do these, you're going to step. Okay, try to get that knee at 90 degrees, and then we'll come back. Okay, and we'll alternate to the other side. And get as low as you can. So for some of you, you may not be able to get that knee to the ground. You're just right here. Perfectly fine because your knee is still behind your toe on the front leg. Exactly. So you may not be able to get all the way down. Perfectly fine. And then if you have a little bit of trouble with the balance, you can also do these stationary. So you'll still be at a lunge stand. So you're just going to lunge down as deep as you can. Back up. So here... We're going to do these 15 seconds mm -hmm. each side, exactly. okay? All right, and also, guys, if those are still too hard, maybe grab something that you can use for assistance as well. So maybe grab, like, a broom or something that you can use as assistance to help you up, okay? All right, so we'll get started with those in about 10 seconds. I'll do the stationary side, and I'll let you know when to switch, and then you will alternate forward. All right, guys, ready? Three seconds, two one and go. Okay, here you want to go as long and as close to the ground as you can. Good. We're going to switch here in three, two, one. 15 seconds okay. from the other side. All right, guys, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Good job. So we're going to go into a plank tap now. So here we're going to be in a plank on our palm. And we're going to alternate 
lifting one hand, tapping the shoulder. If that's a little bit too much, we can do that modified on our knees. Still gonna feel your core. And the goal here is to try to keep your hips as stable as possible. Try not to let them shift open or close. Exactly. And tapping here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna start in five seconds. Okay, again, try to keep that back flat. Hips tight, ready, three, two, one, and go. Try to hold that tap for a second if you can. You want to do the slow and control. When we start to go too fast here, we start to shift our hips a little too much. You want to feel your core working as well as your upper body. Yeah. All right, guys, in five seconds, four, three, two, and relax. All right, good job. So let's take a 30 second rest here. We'll give you about a minute here, and then we'll go back to the lunges. Perfect. Okay, grab some water. Let's see, can you modify the ice bag? Of course. All right, you guys are right. ready. Nice. All right, give you about 35 more seconds here. So again, try to get in a few more reps of lunges than you did in the first set. And with the plank taps, see if you, the further apart your feet are in the plank taps, the easier it is. So see if you can bring your feet a little closer together and challenge yourself here. All right, we'll get started in about 15 seconds. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, and again here, I'll let you know when we're halfway so we can switch if you're doing the stationary lunges. In three, two, one. Okay, I've got ten seconds. Right, so still keeping the weight all in the back of the heel of the front leg. Three, two, one, and relax. Right. Good job. Okay, we're gonna take about thirty seconds. Again, go at your own pace. Don't yes. don't feel the need to keep up with us. Yes. Okay, make this work for you. And you'll be able to watch this over again later, so if you need to slow it down and do some of the exercises later, totally exactly. fine. All right, so let's take it down. We'll start our plank taps in five, four, three, two, one. You wanna make sure with each version, whether you're on your knees or not, you wanna keep your wrist right underneath your shoulder. Ten seconds left. Five. And relax. Good job, guys. Right, breathing through it. Yep, so let's take another minute or so, grab some water, grab a towel, and we'll get right back to it. All right. So this is pretty, also this is pretty tough on your wrist. Um, again, just like the push-up, you can yep. do this elevated on an ottoman or a chair, just like that. So you can elevate it here. Exactly, so less of your body weight would be on your hand, so it should be a lot, a lot easier for you. Yes. All right, let me grab some water, I'm pretty. <laughs> All right, we'll take about 25 more seconds. It's a great way to start the weekend, nice little workout. All right, 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to the lunges, last Okay, last set, try to give everything you got here, okay? After this, we're on the ground for abs. All right, in three, two, one. All right, last set of lunges, push through. We're gonna switch here in three, two, one. All right, last set. Seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, done with the lunges. No more lunges. Good job, guys. Good 
legs. You should feel that in your quads. Your quads yes. have a nice burn there and even your glutes. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna get into our last set of plank taps in about 10 seconds. Again, feel free to elevate these on your ottoman or chair if you need to. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Push through, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Keep everything nice and tight. Halfway. Keeping your 
if you feel your lower back lifting up, maybe try to raise the legs a little. You may be going a little too low with your legs. Good, we have five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we'll give you about 30 second break and then we'll meet back for the heel taps. Yep. Also called penguin, I feel like a penguin walking <laughs> on the side. <laughs> We're doing good. We're almost done. Yes. Dig deep. Right, so ten more seconds. So we'll meet back for penguins. In five, four, three, two, one. If you start to feel your neck a little, maybe use one hand to support your head, and instead of reaching with the hand on that side, you may reach with the elbow. Okay, your core should be nice and fired up now. Stay strong. We're almost there. All right, and 10. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, one more set. We one are more. almost done with those. One more. I can feel the energy. You guys, you guys are doing good. Yeah. Alright, take about a minute or so, and then we'll finish up the last set. Yes. See if you have any questions, can you modify it? Of course, you've done that, All right? Yeah. Okay, maybe about 30 more seconds. Just a little movement for the day. <clears throat> so this is a great general workout that you can do for pretty much anything, any, any yep. time of the day. Um, this is a great full body workout that you can do. So feel free to watch this again and do it as much time as you can so you yeah. can get it, so. And if you're watching me, maybe you keep doing it until you're able to do the modification that Julius is doing too. Exactly. The more you work at it, the better you will get. All right. All right, so we'll start back in five seconds. This is our last set, so really squeeze your core. And go. Really try to push here, this is your last set. If you can, really try to touch that heel to the ground. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> yes, please breathe. 15 more seconds. Okay, you should feel your lower core working pretty good now. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, and we'll drop those feet. Take about 30 seconds to breathe, and then we have one more penguin. Last exercise. All right. 15 more seconds. Last one. In 10 more seconds, give us all the penguin taps you have. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Okay, reach as far as you can to the side of your feet to challenge yourself. We're already halfway. Almost there. Good more quarter. Ten. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And we're done. All right, so we know we said that was the last exercise, but we have one more bonus thing for you if you've got it in you. We got time. So we want to finish with two more exercises, 30 seconds each. After that, I promise you're done. We want to hold a plank for 30 seconds and then hold the world okay. for 30 seconds. So for the plank, you want to be on your elbows and you want to keep your elbows at 90 degrees, okay? Just so you don't have a lot of tension in those shoulders. Keep that back nice and flat. Keep your core engaged. And yes. really squeeze your glutes. That's going to protect you from sinking like this. Okay? Yeah. And if that's too difficult, you can just hold a push-up position plank. This will be more than enough. Okay? <clears throat> and also, if that's too difficult, you can do a plank from your knees here. Yes. Okay? And then the whole of the world, we're going to go right into that after the plank. You're going to sit in a V-sit position. And we're gonna raise our legs at 90 degrees and raise the arms off the ground like you're holding the world. If that's a little bit too much, you can support yourself with your hands on the ground 
and again, if that's too much, you can drop those feet to the ground and just lean back. You're still going to feel your core. Exactly. So we're going to do both of those 30 seconds each. If you have to drop, give us everything you have. After this, you're completely done. All right. Got to start in five seconds. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, really squeeze. Your core should already be on fire from the core exercises, so give us everything you have left here. If you have to drop for a quick second, that's totally fine. Drop, okay. and then squeeze it right back up. You're halfway. Almost there. Okay, eight more seconds. Almost. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to go right into holding the world. Your very last one. Okay. And go. 30 seconds here. If that's too much, feel free to hold the ground. The world in your hands. Mm -hmm. Keep that chest nice and high. Halfway. Almost done in five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good That's job, it. guys. Good job. Virtual high fives. <laughs> Boom. Hopefully you guys got in a great workout. Thank yes. you so much for joining us today. Yes. And thank you again to Lucas LA for having us. Thank you, guys. If you want any other information, maybe we can help you guys out. If you have any questions, we left yeah. our information in the description. Yes. So go check that out. Also, you can follow us on our social media handles. We tend to post workouts on there as well. Yep. And we have a YouTube channel, so we have a whole bunch of resources yes, for you guys. Yes, and they're all in the description for you. So if you have any more questions or comments or anything, um, send us an email, send us a DM on social media. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Thank Good you job. so much for joining us, and we hope you have a wonderful weekend. Yes. Stay safe, stay healthy. Exactly. All right. All right guys.